Hi everyone, uh, quick tips on your uh, building of the robot. So, first of all, this robot here uh, is a robot I have shown at the teacher workshop day. Uh, this robot has a problem with its direction, seeing how when I want to make it go backwards, it goes in diagonal, and forward, and diagonal again. So, basically the problem of this robot is its wheels. The wheels, first of all, you can see that the robot is uh, kind of doing this. Uh, the wheels are not supported very well, so uh, the robot is just like breaking in half if you want. Um, and also, the, the wheels come off very easily. Uh, actually, the robot itself, when it's rolling uh, more than that, loses its wheels by itself. So uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick repair, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that and have a more reliable direction. Now you see I've cleared all my frame, and uh, the reason why I did that because. Uh, I, want, I wanted to swap these old VEX motors, the small ones, for bigger, stronger VEX uh, 2 wires, three, three, uh, 393 motors. So um, basically, uh, while I was repairing it, I just thought it would be a good idea to do that anyway. So, yeah, that's it. So basically what I've started to do is uh, to modify this base uh, and uh, just spreading it wider because uh, the, the problem was that the, the wheels were supported only on one side like that and I wanted to put the wheels inside of the, of the robot so that one they'd, they'd be protected and two uh, they'd be supported on each side and that's gonna give the robot that's gonna stop it from going like that it's gonna make it sturdy uh, so uh, the problem I was facing is that um, I don't have enough of these pieces uh, to uh, simply put something here and have uh, a new set of metal bars here so basically what I'm going to do is uh, take more of these parts and uh, have a much more square robot. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do uh, a base that's more squarish and uh, that's gonna help actually for turning. Uh, but that's basically it. Here, here is what it looks like. Uh, basically um, I can put the wheels in between those uh, and uh, that's going to allow me to support the wheels on both sides. So now, now I'm done with uh, my uh, wheels, my motors and my shaft encoders because I'll need them uh, in another uh, tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do right now is just uh, passing the wire around the robot uh, because uh, there's going to be a lot of wires with uh, all the sensors for the tutorials and uh, they're going to get messed up uh, pretty bad. So uh, what I'm doing is just passing uh, the wires somewhere, they, they won't be a nuisance and uh, clipping them either with tie wraps or uh, these little guys. Uh, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, be smart and uh, do some cable management to help yourself. Okay, so now I've finished doing uh, the repairs on the robot. You, as you can see, uh, all the wheels are uh, have two sides uh, on it and uh, because of that uh, you can see that there's a very 
very noticeable uh, progress with the, the robot. You can see it goes forward as you wish, it goes backwards as you wish. It can even turn very well. Uh, well, actually, I didn't show you in the la in the beginning of the video, but uh, the wheels just fell off when you tried to turn before. And uh, little surprise, with these wheels, you can also skid left and skid right. So it's a pretty neat uh, mechanism. We'll see it in another tutorial.